and skeletal system. So first let's talk about the muscular system. The muscular system is used to maintain posture and create movement in the body. There are three kinds of muscle tissue. We have skeletal muscle, smooth muscles, and cardiac muscles. So cardiac muscles are the muscles of our heart. Our skeletal muscles attach to bones and our skeletal muscles are the only ones we consistently can control and smooth muscles are those around our organs. They are in our digestive system and they have involuntary movement. So something to know about muscles is they can only contract, they can't extend. So our movement is created through muscle contractions and relaxing. So right, because if like my arms are out, I can contract it or I can relax it. So muscles are arranged in antagonistic pairs. So what that means is like you have a bicep and a tricep. So when the bicep contracts, the tricep has to relax. And when the bicep relax, the tricep is contracting. So bones are connected to structures through tendons and ligaments. So tendons connect bones and muscle, and ligaments connect bones to bones. So typically a ligament is like a joint. So let's talk about the skeletal system. So our skeletal system is made up of 206 bones in the body. You have different types of bones. There's long bones, there's short bones, there's flat bones, and there's irregular bones. But bones aren't just the skeletal system in our body. So bones consist of two types of tissues. We have compact bones, which is a dense hard tissue that forms the outer layer of most bones in the shaft. Inside of that there's nerves and blood vessels. Then the spongy bone, that's found on like the ends of the bone and those kind of, they call it sponge, kind of looks like sponge, like these irregular sheets that make up the inner part of the bone because on the outside is the the compact hard and then you get in so spongy sheets and they're only located on the ends of the bones. In some bones, like our pelvic bones, our skull, our ribs, and a vertebrae, it is found in the center, but when you're thinking of like a regular bone, the spongy part is just found on the inside of the outer portion. So the spongy bones on the inside outer portion, so in the center, so we have, if you think of a regular bone, the center, this is the compact, hard, dense bone makes up the outside and around the whole bone, right? And then inside of that, there's nerves. But then on the ends, you have the spongy bone, and inside of that, you have red and yellow bone marrow. So the red bone marrow consists of blood stem cells and blood cells in various stages of development. That's where they develop. So you think the, the red bone marrow is associated with red blood cells, and it creates most of the body's blood cells, not just the red blood cells. It also creates white blood cells and platelets and it helps to eliminate old blood cells. So the blood cells are being created in that red bone marrow. The yellow bone marrow is found at the center of long bones and it consists mostly of fat. If you want that free 14 page ATI study guide, make sure to grab one down below. If you want the full ATI T's science study guide, you can go ahead and click that link below as well and it will bring you over to where you can purchase. Okay, thanks guys. <laughs>